One, two, three. What are we doing? Slideshows, except on the inter inter internet. internet. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on slideshows. What are the best, best pieces of software out there for you guys to use and how to embed them on your website. This is Marcel Migdal from Active TV Networks. We're going to be using one of my websites to show you a demo on how to set up a proper slideshow and how to work with XML variables to get the thing up and running. On the screen you're going to notice sketchaholic.com. This is a website that I partner with uh, Bobby Chu of schoolism.com with. Right here we've got a slideshow going and right below we have little windows that control which slide to go to. If I were to click on this, it would take me to the page with the anchor tag attached to that particular image. I'm going to show you code that controls this little slideshow here. And this is the XML file. I'm going to post the text uh, version of this tutorial on our ActiveTVNetworks.com article section under workshops and tutorials so you guys can just copy the XML and, uh, and paste it in with different properties so you can uh, play around with them if you download the trial version of the plugin that runs the slideshow. So this is the way the XML structure looks. Image, source, this is where you tell it what image to load up. TN is a thumbnail. This represents the small version of the thumbnail. The vid preview is the thumbnail that comes up when you roll over the thumbnail. This is the TN and this is the bigger one, the vid preview. Finally, we got the link. This is where we assign the path. Here's our anchor tag. This is our target. This tells us whether we want to launch the URL on the blank page or a brand new page. Now I'm going to tell you where to get this fancy schmancy plugin. Uh, you want to go to slideshowpro.net and this is the website. This is by far the best slideshow player that I have come across and I've come across quite a few in my years of having the company. I highly recommend downloading this. To get the trial if you don't want to buy it right away but I recommend you buy it. It's gonna save you so much time and it's gonna make your projects really stand out big time. Big time! We're gonna add a new image and we're gonna link it. Uh, Bobby Chu just did an interview with uh, Scott Campbell. We're gonna post it on our website. So he's forwarded me an email here and I'm gonna just save this image. Okay. And let's open up a Dreamweaver and we need to copy this line and paste it above it. If you installed the plugin, you have several options of choosing how the slideshows are going to play, whether they're going to be in sequence or randomly. We always want to display the latest video first. Now that I've copied it, all I need to do is replace this JPEG with this new JPEG. I'm going to put this on the server first, and now I'm simply going to paste over it. change the anchor path. What I'm doing right now is bonus. If all you want to do is link the page to another page, you can do that. What I need to do is I need to link this thumbnail to the video. Here's our file. Now how do I add a Vimeo code? Well it's pretty simple. We have a preset dimensions here. You can change this to anything you want and the Vimeo video is going to adjust itself. Change this number here or you can just copy the whole iframe. I really don't want to because I have a specific template that I'm in a grid that I'm using. I'm going to go grab the embed code that they have provided me with and I will simply paste over this. First, I need to save this. Now I'm going to preview it. If you're using Firefox or Google Chrome to preview, you may need to uh, clear your cache and cookies before you notice the new slideshow. Internet Explorer does a really good job of displaying the latest content. There we go. Scott Campbell. Now, if I click it, 
It's asking me for a login, so I'm just gonna log in. You guys really want a fun website, go to sketchahall.com. You can uh, participate in drawings with celebrity artists, watch exclusive interviews with directors and comic book artists and, and famous illustrators, and vote on drawings. And it works. Get an original piece of art from you. So that's how you link an image to a slideshow within Slideshow Pro and redirect it to an embedded video from Vimeo within the page. Now I'm going to show you also what the Flash plugin for Slideshow Pro looks like. So here's a window and this basically is the plugin. If you click it, you're going to see within the properties all your different settings for the slideshow. So if I wanted to, for instance, change the colors of any of this, change the sizing of, of all this, this is all controlled within the side here. For instance, uh, let's see here, here's some navigation previews. So this is this thing right here, 165 by 96. So if I change it to 250 by say 200, that would change the preview size. So if I were to hover over this when it's published, then the image would be this size now. It's pretty dynamic, it's pretty easy to operate. When you buy the software, it comes with its own PDF file, so you can really easily set everything up. Slideshow Pro has ongoing upgrades, and they're offered free to anybody that purchases the software. And, uh, and that's the tutorial. So thanks again for watching. Um, go to ActiveTVNetworks.com, article section. And video workshops and tutorials see this video tutorial once again or to download any source files. If you guys are looking to launch your own e-store or social network, visit ActiveTVNetworks.com. Once again, this is Marshall McDowell. Today, we worked with Slideshow.